Today I am going to show you how to design a vertical stabilizer that is complete with the rudder using the software called Katya. Firstly, we will start off by opening a part design file and I will name it as stabilizer with rudder. Now that we have the file open, on the left side you can see the XY plane, the YZ plane and the ZX plane. We will use the XY plane to create the foundations of our vertical stabilizer. We will start off by making a circle that has a diameter of 10 millimeters. Now that we have the circle, we will create a vertical line upwards and that line will be 30 millimeters in dimension. Now that we have the line, we will then use the tool spline or spleen to create our aerofoil. Here, we will click on the tangent of the circle, which you can see just by using the axis. We will click that and drag it upwards and click around three times. And it depends on your preference, you can make more than three points. Now, we, we can adjust the points that we made and fix it as you can see according to our own personal preference here i am just adjusting the points that i've made now that we're satisfied we will then use the tool mirror to mirror the line that we've done and we will use the line that we've created before as the axis to reflect the line. Now that we're done, we're going to delete this line and also trim off the axis circle here. Now that we're done, we can now exit the workbench and voila, there is our outline. Now, we are going to create another XY plane upwards. So, firstly, we will click XY plane here. And then click on this icon that is also called plane. Now, on the offset, we will put 37 millimeters and click enter. Now, we will click on the newly created XY plane and enter the sketch mode. As you can see here. This part is quite tedious, so you have to follow one by one. So first off, you click on the sketch that we've made before, sketch 1. So it will outline the color orange. So when that's done, you will then click on this icon which is Project 3D Elements and when you click on it, you have to straight away click on another icon that is Scale. Now when you click on it, it will display the scale definition and we will point and click on this corner here. And then you will drag it upwards and it doesn't matter how high up you drag it the main thing that we want to achieve is a value in the scale or 0 0.3 
now that we've done a 0.3 scale, we will then click on this yellow line and delete it. Now that we're done, we can now exit the workbench. You should be able to get a display like this. Now, without clicking anything else, you should click on this multi-section solid tool here and click on the bigger part outline down here and click OK. And afterwards, you should be able to get a model like this one. Now that we have this model, we will start filleting the top part first. We will click on the icon here for filleting and put in the radius of 1mm. And after you click enter, you should be able to get this. Now is the part where we start off by making our rudder. So first off, we will click on the YZ plane here. You can click there also and enter sketch mode. Now we will click on this line and start making this line. Doesn't matter the dimension, just click it and make an outline kind of similar to what I'm doing now. Now that we're done, we will start dimensioning these outline that we've done so first off this will be 0.5 and the bottom part will also be 0.5 the difference between these two lines will also be 0.5 now that we're done with that we will then proceed with dimensioning the height of our rudder which is 23 mm so first off we will click the insides of this line these two lines and key in 23 millimeters now we have our height we will then proceed with the depth of our rudder the depth of our rudder is 4 mm so i'm going to enter 4 mm oh I accidentally made a mistake you should put the 4mm on the inside parts of the outline I'll show you here you should put 4mm here and now we have an outline that we can later use to cut our vertical stabilizer that we have here now we're going to use our constraints to put the outline that we've done towards the edge of the vertical stabilizer. So here we're going to use coincidence. And we are going to use the constraints to put the distance between those two. And the distance between those two, we will use around maybe 7mm. Now we can exit the workbench and proceed with using the pocket tool to create space between the rudder and the vertical stabilizer. Now, here I'm going to use the mirrored extent to avoid having to do it twice. As you can see, the outline we've done is in the middle of the model. So if we don't use the mirrored extent, you have to do the same procedure twice. Now that we've created space between our rudder and stabilizer, we'll proceed with clicking the triangle there and entering sketch mode to create a shaft. As you can see here, it's hidden with the vertical stabilizer, but we proceed 
with doing a circle that has the diameter of one millimeter. Now that we have the circle, we will then use the constraints to put the distance between the circle and that line. And since the distance starts from the top part of the circle, we will use the distance of 2mm. Now that we've got that covered, we can now exit the workbench and use the pad tool this icon here and we will use a length of 0.5 and also reverse the direction if it's not upwards but it depends on your situation on whether you put it on the top or the bottom part of the rudder now we will use the same procedure that we did before but on the bottom part of the rudder Now, what we have here is the finished product of our stabilizer that is complete with the rudder and that's about it. And I hope this tutorial is useful for you to create a stabilizer that you want. And thanks for watching!